So in today's episode, I want us to talk about two things. Number one, is it okay to ask your wedding guests for money? And number two, how do you ask your wedding guests for money without it sounding awkward? If you're dreading receiving wedding gifts you may never use, but find it difficult to ask your guests for money, I totally feel you. Many of us have been conditioned to accept that talking about money is rude. So in our personal and professional spaces, we do all that we can to avoid talking about money. But you and I both know that talking about money is way too important to sweep under the carpet. So in today's episode, I want us to talk about two things. Number one, is it okay to ask your wedding guests for money? And number two, how do you ask your wedding guests for money without it sounding awkward? Listen, if you're getting married soon or are helping somebody else plan towards your big day, you want to stay tuned till the very end because I am sure that you will find this episode particularly helpful. And here's the thing. We both know that you need the money. So number one, is it okay to ask for money? And my answer to this is yes. However, my recommendation for asking for cash is to be clear and honest about what you're using the money for and make it easy for your wedding guests to contribute to your fund. So as an example, instead of simply saying, oh, we prefer cash over gifts on your wedding invitations, which truthfully may rub people the wrong way, I want you to consider setting up a wedding website and directing all of your guests there for updates about the wedding. That way, on your wedding website, you can then include an option for guests to contribute to a savings fund towards, let's say, your new home or even your honeymoon, as an example. If you're not sure how to set up a wedding website, I do have a video on YouTube that guides you step by step on how to set up a wedding website. So I will link that in the description and you can just click on that and go watch that video. With that said, remember that some guests may still prefer to buy you a gift. So on your wedding website, what I recommend you do is to include a wedding registry with a list of all of the things you really need so that you can save your cash and get guests to help you buy the things for your new home that you otherwise would have had to spend money on. Another thing you can do is to set up a wedding gift box at your wedding with pens and envelopes already laid out. Listen, make it easy for guests to give you money. That way, when people arrive at your wedding and they want to contribute to your fund and perhaps they forgot to bring a gift for whatever reason, they can still gift you money when they come for the wedding. I hope that you found this episode useful. If you did, remember to follow me on Instagram at The African Wedding Blueprint. And also check out my website, theafricanweddingblueprint.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to hit that subscribe button and become a part of this family. I'll be back next week. Until then, stay safe and stay topped up. Bye-bye.